Hello everybody and welcome to the World Cup first round match between Danak and Darun. Danak with the Amazons has won the toss and chose to receive. Darun with the Orcs. Um, Danak doesn't play in Champs Ladder, qualified from Canard PC League. Canard's World Cup with his team. Uh, Darun has a 64% win rate with Orcs in Champs Ladder. He qualified from the ICBDL qualifier on PC, even though he's a PS4 coach primarily. He does play on all five formats, though, I believe. Um, pick up using a reroll despite of not being under pressure, but it, he had five thanks to the kickoff, so fair enough. Um, Zons, not really a fan of Zons in this format. Um, three guard I like. I think I would have gone with Block as the. As the Block on a line woman on the other one, so that you could get guard after game two, and also because I hate frenzy. Um, a strength three player like this, maybe his mighty blow would have been better, but I really don't like the frenzy. Um, and to run here with a tackle mighty blow blitzer, which obviously works great against Amazons, and a couple of guard um, on the strength four guy, which is, you know, this pros and cons to having it on the high strength players or the mobile players. I don't, I don't think it's wrong going either way. Um, Zones with 13 players and an apple, and to run with 12 players and an apple. So I mean, I do quite like the 12 players. I like the orc thrower um, in this format. I don't like it in progression, but you know, in a format where wood elves have strip ball and are pretty scary, I think it's worth having that insurance against it. So a little bit bad dice from the zone so far. A double skull there with a block block and a failed pickup. But I don't think you needed to use the real one. Lots of orcs down. And this is the thing, if he if he didn't have block, if he, if he didn't have friends he could have blocked there. But he doesn't want to uh, he doesn't want to frenzy trap himself and stuff, does he? Oh, yeah, okay, that wouldn't have been a frenzy trap actually. <laughs> he could have just stood there and blocked. But there will be times in the game, I'm sure, when the frenzy is very, very bad. He might have just not wanted to go for it. It seems really optimistic to use a skill on frenzy. Like, it's okay for witch elves. And uh, Norse Berserkers and you know we Werewolves, stuff like that. that start. Even then it's a double-edged sword, but at least they start with it. I wouldn't use one of my valuable four skills to give it. If it was a tier two team and having six skills, it wouldn't... I could understand it maybe, but yeah, I think that's... I don't like Frenzy there. <laughs> but, but particularly, I didn't really think about the second round so much when I was... Uh, Thinking of teams and stuff, but there's a lot of there's a lot of ones you want set up set up for. For example, you'd want um, game two of the Amazons. You really want to take guard as your double on a line woman. So therefore, you really want to have block on a line woman for game one, so that after game two, you can then give guard to that one, and it's blood guard instead of just dodge guard. So there's a there's a few things like that that maybe would have changed things. So this was a frenzy trap, wasn't it? There he got straight away. He, 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 he didn't care about it, but it certainly was a frenzy trap. Would have been two dice into two dice uphill. And also it results in him getting smashed by... Uh, it would have resulted in him getting smashed by a anyway. tackle. There's certainly an argument for not hitting not hitting the frenzy with the tackle mighty blow. Could just hit with this and then blitz a different player, like for example a guard or a defenseless player, defenseless player you would knock down. So you know that's not that's not a criticism of Durun. Um But you know you've got options, haven't you? He, would, he, he didn't just have to hit with attack and mighty blow there. It's it's six and two threes where they're going for just players or positionals. You know I think when someone's got reserves like this, it's maybe better to go for positionals first half to try and get you know. But then when they're on off it, if you're defending. Players up is the most important thing. So, you know, it's hard to say whether it's better to go for quality 
or chance of removal. Of course, he could blitz with block like he did, blitzing a defense that well, blitzing a only dodge play with block, and then hitting the blodge play with tackle is is fine as well, isn't it? It's all. It's all six and two threes, there's all risks and rewards involved in everything. But this looks like a bad matchup for the Zenith. I'd say it's a good matchup for them in normal NAF style. Um, because normally they've got four guard. Um, three guard isn't so bad here, especially as Durumi has two. But the thing is, in normal NAF style, you never face tackle Mikey Pro. And I think. That is the thing that maybe makes Wood Elves not so good. And maybe makes Zons not so good. Well, Zons definitely not so good. Zons are so reliant on on it being a 1000 TV or 1100 and getting Roxana. Um, this seems like not fun for Zons. Again, frenzy trap here with a, with a frenzy. If he if he had just taken mighty blow, he could have just blocked our guard. He could have just blocked. But instead, he has to dodge two players away instead of knocking it over this all and give a give away a block in return. I don't want to keep harping on about it, but um, it is what it is, isn't it? So he managed to switch sides a little bit, but because Amazons are so slow, Durun can can mirror him. Yeah, no problems. Oh, that's the last thing I would have done. <laughs> wow, one dice block. First of all, it's a one dice blitz, and second of all, I would have kept that. I would have kept that frenzy player in the game. Yeah, I think maybe he's the black hawk here and blitz this one. Probably could have reached. You know, apart from the, apart from the one dice, but I mean, maybe this guy's a bit too overcommitted. Here, times out, and Anya dodges away, and you're left with a orc in the backfield, not doing a lot. But then, on the other hand, it encourages him to dodge away and push forward, so you can kind of like trap them a little bit by doing that. I don't know if that's what Durun is doing or not. You know, trying to funnel him to here, maybe. I'm moving him first because he probably want to get more in front. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I probably want to get this one in front. I wouldn't move that one yet. Just making more dodges. Frenzy trap again. <laughs> no problem. Dodges. He's going for all the dodges. I think. I think Zons are best when you don't go for all the dodges. You know, you just occasion, basically use it as a defensive skill, an annoying skill uh, to base people on defense, and occasionally go for the dodges because if you go, you know, they're, they're better than L's at dodging, kind of. But when they really needed to dodge, they're worse than L's, aren't they? If, you, if you're willing to commit a team reroll as L's. And also elves start with like five dodge anyway, whether you whether you're dark elves or wood elves. The other the other elves don't count. Um, if you're good elves, you start with five dodge. Which is nearly as much as this. At first I, I didn't like this greed reroll. I thought it was it was you know, it was a greed reroll. I don't like greed rerolls. However, when you think about it, he hasn't got a one turn threat. And it's turn five, he's only he can't defend on turn eight because that's when Janak will be scoring. So he only has two turns to defend, so that actually wasn't wasn't a bad reroll at all. And as it happens he got the Kaz. And the Apple was used. But yeah, it was actually a really good reroll because yeah, he can't defend on turn eight. He, he doesn't need a reroll for LOS books on turn eight if he, if he gets scored on. And if he doesn't get scored on, sure he hasn't got the reroll for a, a speculative counter score, but you know, realistically, you only get to defend for seven hours because they score on turn eight. So, very good reroll and rewarded for it. I don't know what's going on. 
above me. I do apologise if you can hear that, but I can't change it. Quite like this little formation here. So, you now moving forward. I might end up scoring on turn seven. I might. Be. And it's not so bad if he scores on turn seven. Um, you know, orcs aren't the best at two turning. There's a dodge and his stun. Yeah, interesting. A couple of stuns there, but not not super not super relevant really. I mean, this one maybe. But he still needs to get stuff in front, doesn't he? Which, or in, I mean, he could get in front with a tackler and then get inside with a tackler. I think in front would be the more normal thing to do. But this is fine, isn't it? Gets gets tackle on the ball kind of. So I mean the, the better failure state option is dodging here and then two dice blitzing. And uh, this is actually more like you're more likely just to do the dodge because it's a straight one in nine. Because if you can get a team but the the less the, the the less bad failure state is to dodge the other one after blitz. You go straight for the dodge, which did, did give them the highest chance to score, but a worse failure state of just guaranteed dropping the ball if he fails. Um, oh, this is really unbelievable. So I don't know if you can hear this, but wow, this is outrageous. Actually, outrageous. I'm just, I'm sorry. He, surely he can surf here. Um, You could probably even surf, you know, at least one, maybe two. Oh my god, this is... I can't actually believe <laughs> how loud this is. Looking at looking at OBS, it looks like it is picking it all up. I'm sorry. Um, you know, I'm I'm so far behind with all of the World Cup videos. I've just got to keep going and uh, and finish this video. To be honest, so I'm covering every single game in the World Cup, both live on Twitch and in replays on YouTube. So it's quite a lot. That's quite a lot of games, especially the first week. Start at ten minutes early and I can just not, not make it in <laughs> trying for something. I, sorry, I'm really sorry about this. I just can't. I lost focus there. I think he was trying to do a surf or something uphill on the ball, was it? He didn't really have much chance though. So, so yeah, good defence by Darun. Gotta say, he did, he did a good job, you know. The, uh, the Zon suffered with a lack of guard and maybe maybe with their tactics a little bit. I, I really don't like the dodging away all the time. I'd rather, two, two, rather try two dice. But the frenzy got in the way of that a little bit. Did frenzy trap itself a few times, and just turned down blocks because of frenzy a couple of times as well. Three dice block with mighty blow seems a good idea. On, uh, on guard, very good. Gets nothing. <laughs> Uses us we roll gets nothing. <laughs> but still, it's still good having a mighty blow tackler, isn't it? Can't argue. Can't argue with that. Both heroes coming up. And now 
to run is def successfully defended. So now he's just got to store at some point. And he'll probably win. I mean, Zons can't really score in two very well. Three's pushing it for Amazons, and obviously with more strength and guard and stuff. Well, he hasn't got more guard, but he's got two guard. And he's got the mighty blow tackle, so he might, he might be able to whittle down the numbers. Or at least the quality. I don't, I don't hate the tackle being in the backfield like this. Obviously, you'd, you'd like it on the LOS smashing people, but it's something I often do is have him, have him a bit further back so that if there's like a blitz or you know an early quad score or whatever that gets that lets the airs, you know, zones or elves put pressure on, particularly uh, elves. Against elves, I use this kind of setup, uh, Skaven. So that if something goes horribly wrong, you've at least got him in your backfield to to knock someone down. So I, I don't hate, actually don't hate not, even, not having him on the LOS like this. So, guard, so Zons have gone for a bit of trying to guard lock here, but without having enough guard and enough contact for it to work. He really should have put everyone in contact, all these three. Or he should have just, you know, he's two against three, so he's got a slight guard advantage. But it's, you know, he, these are strength fours, so they can just 2D straight forward anyway. So it's not really the time to, to guard lock. It does expose him down to a blitz, a mighty blow tackle, and she's dead. So, um, that was probably, you know, maybe wasn't such a good time to go all men's contact there. But you know, you can't judge an, an outcome from the dice, but I still didn't like it because it was, you know, the point is it was easy to break. He did break it easily, he got a two dice block, and then a two, then another two, then another two, then another two, so he didn't have to get AB breaks with these blocks, he just needed pushes and he would have cleared everybody with two dice blocks. So if, if people can clear everybody with two dice blocks, probably not so good is it? Um, if he'd got all three on here, then at least these guys would these blitzes would have been in trouble and probably knocked over next turn. So I think, you know, he did the old half mans, he got five in contact, six out. I think all eleven in contact would have been better. Or you know, only leave three in contact. But I mean he got punished in the worst possible way, you know, it's still harsh to take a cast from it. So now I think he changes tack and goes goes a bit more cautious. I don't hate that, trying to get him stuck on the sideline a little bit. That gives him two hits. So getting some value out of his frenzy there. Yeah, he's, he's still got Ted. It's certainly not a lost drive, just from that one cast. Probably mentally he thinks it's worse than it is. Kicking himself a bit for making contact. And that's the thing you don't get in the replays, is it? And, and even and live commentary as well, you know, you don't know their state of mind. And there's obviously nerves and, and pressure and what have you. Sometimes and, and also on the replays you can't see how long they've thought and if they've snapped re-rolled or if they thought about the re-roll and stuff. You might have agonised for three minutes before committing to the LOS then. Yeah, I never really like having the cage at the front like this. I always like to have, you know, the guys a little bit further back. But when they're strength forward guard, it's, it's not so bad to have them at the front, is it? He 
does seem to have rolled some pretty bad dice, uh, Dunak here. I think he's definitely got the worst. He's rolled quite a few double skulls and one in nines. And I don't remember to run rolling any. Doesn't mean I'm right, but I don't remember him rolling any. Oh, there's a one in nine. Let's go the guy with block. Um, who casts him? <laughs> I mean, they've both only got four block aside, so they're both kind of equally likely to roll uh, turnover one in nine. So Durun's keeping it safe, but he's not getting forward yet. But then he doesn't have to yet, it's only three turns in. Maybe he could have made a bit of contact there with a the strength four guys. Yeah. He has done that, maybe he could have got this guy in as well. I wouldn't have hated it. I mean, the zones are pretty tricky to get past as well if they keep making their, if they keep making their dodges. Yeah. <laughs> Now there was no real reason to blitz with him, was there? Could have blitzed with a could have blitzed with a block person, I think. Or at least blocked first with a block. Two players down now, but well, they can still like L screen a bit, can't they? With the uh, with the dodge dodges, but now maybe maybe Darun will try to initiate a bit more contact with his strength four here. I think now going for the defenseless players is the is the right play for sure. Crazy here, it looks like it. Looks like he's going for a bit too much contact here. Oh my god. <laughs> right, so I don't like this. I think a bit of contact and then still caging here would have been alright, but this is this is pretty easy to get two dice in the ball here. Like a two dice there. And then he can he could have blocked here. He's just going for one dice. He could have blocked here. Well wow. And then with a frenzy pushing him to here, yeah, so okay, I'll I'll pause it. There's a few plays he could have done. If he'd made this block first and pushed him to here, then that one dice could have then pushed this to there. Um which would have been given him a bit more of a chance because he would have still had this player to assist. Or what I would have done is I would have blocked this guy, based him. And then he could have come in for the assist and he could have two dice blitzed. Um, but he went for the one. And, you know, he's still he's still in a horrible situation. That was a rush of blood maybe by the run there. I don't think he had to get forward on turn 12 that far forward. I think that was a bit of a mistake. You know, I, I, people can roll dice, can't they? And... You want to make it like that wasn't hard to, to get two dice on the ball, it was not hard at all. And ooh, there's a play here. The tackle mighty blow could have blocked this character and then chained him out that way, but instead he used a blitz to chain him away. Which you know I'd have rather hit with the uh, hit with a mighty blow tackle to do that. And then save the blitz, so now this makes everything a bit more tricky, the fact that he hasn't got the blitz. Blitz could have come in on this Amazon and then blocked this one and made it a bit safe, but now by not make not not taking that chain, kind of easier chain. He used his blitz. And it's pretty tricky, it's just a scramble now, isn't it, for the last few turns? The zones can always roll dice. Incredibly risky block. <laughs> 
you know, because he's basically trying to get a pal. So he's just straight up giving him one dice here. And he can blitz this guy down and then make it a two dice pull. He goes for the one -er. Also, he could have pushed him there. And then he could have got the assist here and made it a two dice that way. And he was actually going for the blitz there. Rather than just putting the guard in and making it two dice. So, I think, I think the run has made a bit, you know, a few mistakes here on his drive. But he's basically gotten away with it by Danak making a few mistakes. So... In my opinion. <laughs> but now it looks looks pretty safe now that he's got the full the full cage again. It was a risky way of getting forward, but he's got forward. Quite like blocking with this guy and then getting the mighty blow tackler inside. Ah, but he, he got the boat down, so couldn't. Fair enough. Maybe, maybe could have blocked with the black hole there to get the. Because I like getting the mighty blow tackler in, inside here to clear any basing of the ball. So I think I would have gone for the black hole block. And get to in here. Or here or something. Because, you know, he really needs the tackle, doesn't he? Amazon's a. Amazons are really annoying when you don't roll pals against them. <laughs> so I would have tried to get him over there. Frenzy 2D. Yeah, into 2D because he pushes him that way. Oh well, so that, that works out for him having Frenzy then. Very good. I think this was a mistake because he could have... He could have simply dodged the other one to that same spot and had dodge on, had dodge available. So while he couldn't have, maybe he's got into a better spot. Oh, they've got it in exactly the same spot. So yeah, should have definitely done the other one first, and then at least at least the run's got to block this one that way. Looks like a greed block, but again, there's only one turn left if he scores. And I guess he thought he needed that to advance the cage, which he probably did. It's scary though, not having the reroll for the rest of the turn, isn't it? It's the push. I think I would have maybe based, uh, based the Paste here and then foul them. But this works out quite well actually, doesn't it? That that, that block. I actually quite like what Drone did. I mean, you know, I, I don't have as much time as he's got right now, so maybe that would have ended up the same, but I wouldn't have hated basing the basing the guard because it'd be hard to make it a one dice, you know, with the, the assist, it would have been hard to get a one dice on the ball. And then obviously you might have been able to foul or keep it safer. But the zones don't do anything. And they are drawing for the 1 0 win. So, congrats to Darun. And commiserations to Danak. Um, I don't think he's going to score a 1 turn 2. He could get a riot, so let's not let's not count our chickens before the hatch. There could be a riot here for the zones. But they're, they're not going to score a 1 turn. No way. I think here you just have to, there's, you know, you, you do the back line in Champs Ladder and stuff to protect your players. There's really no need to do that here. I would just do a standard defence, you know, a ziggurat or whatever. Um, a standard two-turn defence because the only chance the Zons have is a riot. They're not going to get a one-turn. They could get a riot. So I think, you know, he should have just done a standard defence. Or his best defence. So against a two-turn touchdown. Which I'm sure isn't back line <laughs> So a little bit of a mistake there from Duran, but obviously he probably thinks he's won. The, the right is very unlikely. Um, I thought he'd just won. <laughs> it's not alright. So it didn't matter.
maintain. There was no need to move him even because it's just over, isn't it? With it being res and knockout and everything. So yeah, well played to the run. I mean, I think I think he did play better. Um, you know, overall, and I think his team build was better. I really didn't like the frenzy. He didn't really do a lot, and was often a bad thing to have. I think marginally. I mean, I think it was close. You know, don't get me wrong. It wasn't a, it wasn't a comprehensively outplayed or anything, was it? I mean, eight times out of nine, that 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 Amazon would have made the dodge and scored, and then it's probably one one in overtime. So, you know, it, it, it certainly was very very close. Um, but you know, congrats! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.